Hello, my DoorDash gang. What's up, my grub hub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, aka Big Al, coming at you with another video. What's up, family? What it do? What it do? Hope everybody's doing well. Man, I miss you guys last night, man. Yeah, I was at work, man. Had a long night. Went in at, uh, I had to be there at 12 or something. I ain't get all till, but three, but I got home at four something, no, five something this morning. And we up and at it. It was a long night, but it was a regular Sunday. I can tell you this, if everybody would have came to work yesterday, we would have got out of there, man. We definitely would have got out of there. So we, we were short four people. Four people make a big difference, man. I ain't lying to you. But family, I'm doing great. I feel good. I want to thank God for waking me up this morning. You know the day is Sunday. We are dashing today. I'm going to have the app on. I'm very excited. Hope I'm, I get some work. But man, the wifey, man, we got a day planned for us. So this morning, we're going out and get our, um, my wife making the um, chips and dips. So we're going to have a little football party. This is the first time me and my wife are going to watch the Super Bowl together. I'm talking about from the start to the end in almost 18 years. <laughs> Seriously. Because uh, for 32 years, I have worked nights. And I work for companies that don't care about the Super Bowl being on and stuff like that. It was either I got home when in the halftime or in the third quarter on Super Bowl. But this is the first time in 20 something years that we'll sit down together from start to finish and watch the Super Bowl. If I don't fall asleep on it. Young guy. In the food industry, only time you off, depending on what warehouse you work, only time you really off on the food industry is um, Christmas and Thanksgiving. All the other holidays you work. You can't say Fourth of July because you have to come in. Um, on a Saturday and work 4th of July so 4th of July is our busiest season Mother's Day is huge does everybody go out on Mother's Day guys if you don't know Tampa today it's, it's nice out but it's real foggy so I know Hillsborough County Police is out here lurking but they won't get your boy. That's for sure. But guy, I didn't get a chance to answer none of my questions. I mean, none of my subs yesterday. My family member. So when I get a chance, I'm going to read your comments. And um, I'm going to do it on camera. I wish I get an order. But right now, I'm going to get some coffee, guys. My wife was shocked when I jumped up at 7.30. She said, you up? I was like, yeah, baby. I got plenty, I got, I got plenty of time to sleep when I die. That's what I be doing. I be sleeping till he tell me, give me my next assignment. I be like, out of debt. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. I ain't got to worry about no bills. I ain't got to worry about nothing. Like all that time I missed out on some good sleep, I'm going to sleep now, Lord. <laughs> Hello. What's that saying? Everybody want to go to heaven, but nobody want to die. I ain't saying I want to die, but I can tell you like this. I 
when I go, I'm going. Mm-hmm. Don't resuscitate me. Let me go. I ain't doing no suffering. I know I'm talking as to some of y'all might be talking crazy, but I'm just being honest. Man. I told the wife, you don't don't spend. I don't want you to spend all my my hard earned money, insurance money on no freaking funeral. Yes, sir. Spread my ashes. Let me go. The hell are you gonna spend all that money on a casket? Barbecue me, let me go. Okay, what you do with my ass? I said, Lord, I've done all my great work. Made a lot of mistakes. And I know we got to talk about my mistakes. But I hope you got a room for me in all the mansions. Because your boy hate the heat. Boy, I hate the heat. I don't like nothing hot. That's why God let you get old, man, so you can repent, get your life together, so you can come on home. Oh, you gonna talk about all the things you did? Come on, man. I'm in front of a school driver. Oh, Lord. I'm gonna go to BJ to get some of this free air. Hope Mr. Dolores ain't here this morning. Cause she might get it. She might get a hell no, I don't give a damn, keeping it real and everything else. Gas done jumped back up. BJ's gas is 215, 243 for premium. That's still cheaper than what I've been paying, paying on the regular. All right, family, I'm gonna get some air and I'll be right back. I'm fam. I'm back, fam. Mr. Lord's a trip. She here today. See, she inside this little booth. I can't see that she's in there. So I'm getting my air, and I hear something go. Tss. She cut my air off. So I peep around the truck. She's like, "Hey, Kingfish." I said, "Miss Lord, you better cut my damn air back on and stop playing." She said, "You don't talk to me like that." She, she said, you better say good morning when you see me. I said, I didn't know you was in there. Good morning, Mr. Lord. She cut my bag back on. I said, thank you. Don't make me come over there. She said, you might come over, but you're going to be limping back. <laughs> but I tell you, man, when you meet people, guys, that's, that, that's uh, especially, I think Mr. Lord's got to be 60-something. But when you meet people with that type of energy, good energy, man, and can able to laugh and have fun with you without being serious, man. Man, psh, she family now, guy. But she messing with the wrong one, guy, because I'm going to mess with her every time she come up there. I got tenant windows. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get one of them, um, what is that? That that movie, scary movie? I'm going to get one of them scary movie masks. I'm going to get her tail. I'm gonna go right up to it. I got ten of window. You can't see in my truck. You know. You can see now because you know the sun and whatnot. But uh, if I pull up a, to you, you ain't gonna be able to see me. I'm gonna say hello, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> I'm scared the hell out of me. Boy, I hope she don't hit me one of them black paws, man. All right, guys, we're going to get coffee on this beautiful Super Bowl foggy day. All right, family, so we got a contest out there. Please let me know your prediction of the game, who's going to win. The closest one is going to get a free shirt, a free Thankful Tuesday shirt, free of charge. We only can have one winner. If we have a tie, I'm giving away two shirts. All right, family. So damn, there you go. The challenge is out there. Closest one to the Super Bowl get a free thing for Tuesday show. I announce the winner. If you want to play, let's play. Let's have some fun. Get out your comfort zone today, guys. You know, 
I'm gonna take a nap before the Super Bowl because I don't want to be disrespectful, fall asleep on the wife. But I did have a long, 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 long day yesterday. But I had a hell of a crew, guys. I had a hell of a crew, man. My 15, I put my 15 guys that I had last night against any any Coca-Cola company guys, and hands down, we'll whoop them. They gave me a hard time because they all, you know, they want to know what time they're getting off. But they work for me, man. Guys, that's another thing. They don't, if they don't like you, but they respect you, they'll work for you. But when they don't like you and they don't respect you, respect you, they won't work for you. I got a crew of people that probably don't like me at all. No, I ain't gonna say they hate me, but they don't like me. But they can only say that Mr. Al is the same person every day. You know? They can say Mr. Al don't let you get away with nothing. That's right, guys. Because I tell you, if I let you get away with something, it could be a test. I could lose my job. And I ain't none of y'all gonna feed my family or let me come stay with you or put gas in Big Bertha. So I never put my job on the line for anybody, and I don't want nobody to put their job on the line uh, for me. You feel me? So guys, I want to say that again. If you're in leadership, if you're a supervisor, a manager, if your crew don't like you or respect you, dude, they would not work for you. They would not. They get you out of there. But if they don't like you, but they have a lot of respect for you, man, they 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 work for you. Shut your door, woman. Before I tie it off. Damn, dummy. But they will work for you, man. So I can't say my crew do not like me. But they do work for me. And the hard workers love me because they I make everybody work. You know? And and I, I talk the same way to everybody. But I, I do with I deal with a lot of people um personality. I'm personality driven. Meaning that um if you're a serious person, I will always be serious with you. But if you're a jokey, jokey player person, I know how to reach you by joking and playing. I know how to get to you. I know how to get you to do what I need to do. A serious person always got to be serious with you. You cannot joke with a, a person that's serious, man. You know what I mean? My boy here today, so I'm going to go ahead and get my coffee. But family, man, I missed talking to you guys last night, man. You know what I mean? But your boy got to do what your boy got to do. My wife said, you should have called out. I, I'm not that type, guys. All right, let me get in here and get that coffee, man. I'll be back. All right, guys. And your boy got a nine today. My boy up here, when he first came here, guys, he couldn't make a cup of coffee save his life. Now he, he done turned into almost a tower. He listened to me. You know what I mean? Got me a nine, Trini. <clears throat> All right, guys. I don't have an order, but I I'm gonna read some of the um, comments from yesterday. I didn't get a chance to watch anything. So, guys, if you know me, I answer all my messages. I'm not one of them YouTubers that don't respond. I just give you hearts and whatnot. But I do respond to all my messages. All right. First message is from Michael. Ooh, I got quite a bit, too. No, I don't. I did. Oh. Michael said he missed Tampa. Damn, I missed living in Tampa. Hey, I miss living in Tampa too. No, I'm just kidding. Man, I wish you was here. It's beautiful here today. You see your boy got a t-shirt on today. You know what I mean? Got that red on. Wifey love me in red, man. You know, anything is possible in red. Red is her favorite color. All right, so YB wrote, Patriots, 35, Rams, 24. All right. 
All right, Rob, Motown YB trying to get that, that triple X. Scott, Scott Brilla. I don't give a damn. I'm first because Kingfish, you are always first. Feel me? Thanks, Scott. You always first too, player. All right, Scott Brilla again. I'm glad there's no podcast tonight. I'm going bowling with Rod Stewart. Hey, Scott, I'm going to kick your ass if you keep it up, Scott. God forgive me. Ma, ass is in the Bible, but Scott made me use it the wrong way. <laughs> Scott ain't gonna let me live that raw stood down for nothing, boy. All right, Motown YB, what's up, Kingfish? Nothing wrong with having a a wifey day. Kick back and relax on Super Bowl Sunday, brother. I am, man. Thank you. All right, Kim C, my favorite person. Hello, Al. Delete a post from her. I mean, from here. Sure, Al, you can still see. It in the his email something. Sorry in that mood. Probably didn't need to see, but sorry. What? Okay, I don't know what she mean, but I will find it. A good husband takes care of his wifey. Thanks, um What is this? Miss Taylor. Candace Taylor. Bakari Green. He just gave me two thumbs up. It's pronounced Nikki Shah. Is it Nikki Shay? All right, correct me, girl. Miss, yes, it's pronounced Nikki Shay. And thanks for the shout out. Love your channel. Oh, we love that you love our channel. But you part of the family now, so we love you back. Scott Pat, um, Scott Brillo said Patriots thirty seven Rams twenty one. All right, go ahead, Scott. Desmond Shepard, 34-30. All right. All right. So that's all we have, guys. I thought I had more than that. Now I got to find out what Kim talking about. Titus Nixon. Kingfish has not heard from you. Okay, hold on. Who is this? Titus Nixon. Well, you probably haven't heard from me because you ain't been on my channel. You can't say you haven't heard from me in a long time if you ain't on my channel, man. You hit me on BZ channel. Blog life. Blog life. Let's go. All right. Let's see. <laughs> All right. What is this? Is it Valnesia? Richer? Girl, I'm bad with names. I mess up, girl. I mess up the president's name. I couldn't say Barack for nothing. I was saying all kinds of stuff. Oba, Oba, and, and I, man, I couldn't get his name right for nothing. I had to listen to people say his name. Barack Obama. I wish he can run again. Yep, I really do, man. And somebody said, why, why you want to run again? Just to hear a good speech? That's better than what we're hearing. But we're going to get off of politics, guys. Politics is not what this channel is about. But sometimes I got to free my mind and say what I need to say. I'm trying, I'm, fig I'm trying to figure out Kim, what Kim's saying. Oh, she said, call it out. <laughs> yeah, T Kim, that was one of them, um, that was one of them, um, 
one of them six times when I call out. I told you I didn't call out that guy down here, but that was for a reason. And left early. <laughs> left leaving, going to work. At least I went to work. Going and leaving home early because, you know, it's something I had to do. You know what I mean? But family. <laughs> I see what you talk about, Kim. You're not calling me out, Kim. That was one of the six times. Maybe seven times. Let's say seven times. Just in case I missed that. But thank you, Kim. I love you on my channel. Kim will keep you straight. Kim, I bet you your man couldn't get away with nothing. <laughs> but I appreciate you, Kim. Guys, one thing, one thing about me, you know, I'm a jokey, jokey person. You know, I got a good heart. It's hard for you to say anything to to to, to get me out of my character. So, Kim, you know, this is this channel. We got freedom of speech, girl. You can say what you want to say. You know what I mean? Family members got to keep family members straight. So I just look at it as, you know, you're keeping me straight. But no, I'm not deleting no posts. I appreciate you, Kim, on my channel. You know? Yeah, I remember that now. Yes, sir. But I believe I counted that. If I didn't, then it's seven times. Kim, what? <laughs> and leaving work early, man. Hey, when you've been there 12 hours, 15 hours, 16, leaving early is a bonus. But you can't count leaving early because you went to work. You feel me? I did all I can do, man. I have gone as far as I can go, Kim. But I appreciate you, Kim. See, always be you, girl. Do not change. Do not change. That's what I love about you. Do not change. That's why I love MG. You know, the death. She would, she would correct me. She would straighten me out. I need that on the channel. I don't want a person to tell me what I want to hear. I want a person to tell me when I do something wrong, I say something wrong. I like that. So, Kim, two thumbs up. Don't make me bring Bigfoot over there to handle you, girl, in Minnesota. So, we shouting out Kim C. today, guys. Thank you for your honesty. And thank you for being a part of this channel. I know this eye right here don't look like it's working, but it's working. How many of y'all got a lazy eye? That's a hurting feeling, boy. What's his name? Lucky, uh... I can't think of his name. It's Lucky something. Is it Lucky? The one, the gangster with the, the droopy eye. I'm glad my eye ain't like lucky though. I don't want that one to have clothes. I take a, uh, a, a droopy eye. God forgive me, but as long as my eye don't look like Bill Cosby, when I get old, I'll be all right. Not like that sucker about to pop out. I be looking like I'm high. This eye right here, man. That eye lazy, boy. I got a buddy that I used to work with. He had a wandering eye. He lost um, his nerves in this eye. And he be looking straight and he be talking to you. But this eye right here be all over the place. And it's very distracting. So he, he just got tired of people asking him about his eye. So he wired patch. But that was the best thing he can do, guy. I'm serious. You know. He had no control of this eye. This eye right here, he had control of. But you could, he could be talking to you, and this eye be straight up. And you'd be like, what the hell is going on with your eye, man? You know, because it's scary. And I used to look at him. I never wanted to say nothing, but I would look at him. I'd be like, and he was like, yeah, this eye I can't control. I was like, 
man, it's it's it's, it's spooking you, it's spooking me out, and he always want to talk to me. So you know, I would try not to look at that eye. <laughs> he'd be like, he'd be like, boss man, it's okay, I'm I'm used to. It. He had that problem ever since he was little. He got hit in the eye with a, a baseball, and this eye right here, he could see out this eye, but he lose when he lose vision. When he lose sight in this eye, that's when it's all over the place. And he said, I think he said when he try to concentrate and try to stay focused, that's when he loses. But now he put a patch on it. So that, that was the smartest thing he did. He still have his eye. But I'm just glad I don't have a wandering eye. I'll take a lazy eye. Yo guys, but family, I miss you guys. I love you guys, man. Yesterday was hard not being able to do the podcast, you know, because I enjoy watching you guys talk to each other back and forth. But I'll be back next week, man. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we're going to talk about something. You know? I don't have an order yet, family. But I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the app on all day and whatnot, and we're gonna go from there. We're gonna see what we get. You know, that's all you can do. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this game, though, man. I really am. Quality time with the wife. Definitely going to lay down, guys. Two things I hate. I hate you falling asleep with me in the movies. I hate for you falling asleep on me at movie time and quality time. So I don't want to do that to my wife. I want to go to sleep, take a nap, a power nap. And the thing is about my wife, guys, if I fall asleep, she won't wake me up. I be mad as hell. I'm like, you know I want to see that. Why you didn't wake me up? She's like, ain't nobody tell you to fall asleep. She would not wake me up, y'all. And she would leave me. If I fall asleep on that couch, I wake up. It could be say I fall, I fall asleep at 6 and wake up like 10 o'clock. She already in bed. I was like, why you ain't wake me up? I ain't talking to you. <laughs> she be mad at me. But I be mad at her because she didn't wake me up. Like, you fell asleep on me. I'm like, I ain't act like that back in the day when you used to fall asleep on me on the phone. You know? So my hell knows, I mean, my I don't give a damn Saturday, man. It was wonderful at work. You know? I got the chance to act the food at work. You know? By saying I don't give a damn to everything. You know? But I had fun, guys. Alright, guys. So, get your scores in. Like I said, the closest one to the score wins. And you're going to get a free shirt. I might put some I might put some other stuff in there. I'm going to put a little package together for you. But you know, family, I got to get back. You know, that's what it's about. And if you ain't got your thing for Tuesday shirt, after we find out who won the this, this Super Bowl, I'll let you know uh, how many shirts and what size I got, fam. So you can support your boy so I can do more stuff like this for you guys. You know, we got Mother's Day coming up, and I want to bless somebody's mother. You know, I'm going to bless my mother, but I want to bless somebody's mother with some free shirts and free gifts. So we're going we're gonna to do that, guys. All right, family, I got to go. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, if you're... Remix. All right, guys, this is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace, family. Kim, I love you. Family, I love you. I'll see y'all in a little bit. I ain't going to say who I want to win, but like I said, man, I think it's going to be the Patriots, but I love to see the Rams win, if that makes sense. All right, family, I'm out. Peace.